Yeah. Just let me know if you want me not to. All right, cool. We're going to roast uh, some freelance work that uh, Mr. Montero is doing. I'm very excited for this. So let's see it. Um, it's not much at all, but um, yeah, okay. um, it's a for us. And also, you know, so you can critique and give me some ideas. Um, so yeah, there's not much at all. Um, this is just uh, uh, what he wants. Uh, what he wants on the homepage. Pretty I'll simple. Start with this. I I like it. Like um, it's got a a little bit of a retro vibe to it, but it's not like a bad retro vibe. I I do enjoy it. So uh, start with that. Like the general vibe is good um so that's good couple right. things right off the bat to roast scroll to the top real quick yeah okay um i like the styles and colors of this header it feels like it's too big if that makes sense vertically um mm -hmm. part of fixing that i can imagine fixing that in a couple of ways one of that would be to me this looks like something that maybe belongs over here on the left if that makes sense and then okay. And then you could have like Curtis made it in the center. I don't know exactly. I'm not like a designer, so I don't know exactly. But then you have something in the center and then maybe some links on the right. And I would actually argue that maybe a good way to present these links would be you do the icons. So in other words, do like a YouTube icon, you know, a little play button thing. Do a Instagram icon, you know, something like that Ooh. over here. And that way you can just click on it and it takes you there. I think that okay. might be a little nicer and be real easy to do. Um so there's a good start. I also Sweet. think that, yeah, maybe just a layout that makes that smaller. Or if you want it to stay big, one of the things you could do if you really want it to be fancy is have it to where this is a sticky header that animates into a smaller header as you scroll down and stays stuck to the top. That could be super fancy if you were feeling like it. A lot of good websites do that. You'll see that a lot of the fancy, like, just like show page kind of websites, what they're going to do is they're going to have some header. And as you scroll down, it sticks to the top and you can just, just Google some and you'll find some. Uh, it's not the easiest to implement, but it's not the hardest either. You could totally do it. Um, and I would argue that, yeah, I think that maybe you could even make, figure out a way to make these stick to these links stick to the top too. Cause in my opinion, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't the, the UI doesn't look bad, but what I could imagine is maybe like some sort of sidebar with like all of these links right here or something like that, like up here and then the YouTube and the Instagram on there too. I don't know. There's all sorts of things that you could do, I think, to condense that though and make it look a little nicer. I really like the colors that you picked out. I like the font that you've picked out. I think everything looks really good. So any questions on that part so far? Um, no, that's um, crystal clear. Um, I actually want to um, see if once they're done with their recording, see it. So you know, to try to implement that. Cool. Yeah, and I mean, I could, I could also send you the recording too. Um, yeah. yeah, of course. Um, so then, as far as here goes, are there any hover effects on those buttons? Uh, no, there's no hover. I didn't implement. That's any an hover that's effects. an easy thing to do. That looks cool. Yeah. And it doesn't need to be any crazy, a uh, fancy hover effects. A lot of times, what I'll do is I'll just like scale it up by like. Point one, like some things are just bloop, like slightly, and then also usually like change the color to something slightly lighter or something like that, or it's going to depend on the case. But I think that that could be really good. Um, also, looking at this, um, I noticed that the capital, capital, not capital, not capital. I don't think it matters that much, but just stick with one casing if that makes right. sense. Um, yeah. Can you scroll down just a little bit more? Yeah. So uh, scroll up. I just want to look at this whole section of this picture. So scroll to the top of it and the bottom of it. I want to be able to see both those at once. Okay. So first thing I noticed that is a little strange to me is that it's like there's no padding up here and there is down here. And that makes it look like it's just incidentally fits that way. Um, so that's something that you could fix. I could imagine solving that one of two ways. You either have this picture span the entire height and let the width do what it does. Or you mm -hmm. could have the picture be as wide as it is and then match the background to uh, the same height. So that's one fix. The other thing is, I think color-wise, there's a lot of different blues here, right? Like I see like the light teal and I see the this almost like it, because of the shade on the white, it looks like another color blue. 
Mm-hmm. I think that the thing that's a little strange also is that it's like from a picture perspective, what are you supposed to focus on here is probably this. But when I look at this, I'm actually kind of more focused on this because this is actually in better focus than this is. Um, okay. I get the sense that I get the sense that it's probably not a viable option for you to go and take a better photo of him or something like that. Because like, this is just kind of like, if you, I, I know a little bit about photography and uh, mm-hmm. if you look at his photo, like his face is very like in the shade and, and <laughs> it's not super high focus on his face. So what I might consider doing is if you like the, some texture here, one of the things you could do is maybe experiment with blurring it a little bit. So that way it's not so high contrast that it takes away from his face, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, so you could actually do an image blur with CSS might be a good idea. Or you could even experiment with like changing the color of it or something like that. You could actually do some image transformation stuff with CSS. So maybe you could try darkening it. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is, but I would imagine at least being cognizant of the fact that it's kind of hard. To, there's just a lot of stuff in focus that isn't his face here. And I feel like it maybe takes away from the picture, um, if that makes sense. Right. Um, that's just my opinion. Okay. Uh, as far as this paragraph goes, if you mind scrolling down. One of the things about it is it's it's really long. Is this something that he wanted specifically? Like this, he sent you this paragraph and this is what he wanted. Okay. If that's the case, you're doing the right thing. You know, it's your client, get the right thing in for him. Uh, What you may want to do though, is take this and padding on the sides. It's very, very to the wide. Uh, It's very, very Mm -hmm. wide on how far it goes. So particularly padding on the sides would be good. And then what you might want to ask him about, I personally think like visually, if you could break a story like this into a few pieces and just explain that it might look good visually to do something like that, treat it like sections. Like in other words, like if you could have a little header for this section and this one says, uh, you know, let me thank you. Right. Or something like that. And there's a header and then you have the text under it. Now it's like kind of organized a little bit by bullet points. I think it's pretty common for like websites, for example, to just not necessarily have a giant blob of text to read, but instead have these like little highlights that you focus on. I think that tends to look like a nicer, aesthetically pleasing website. But that being said, it, it might be that this client finds this whole thing really valuable the way that it is and doesn't want to compromise on it, but it might be worth the conversation. Like it might be worth showing a couple of websites and being like, Hey, look, um, on this website, uh, I think it looks great the way that they have this broken down into sections. I've looked at your paragraphs and I feel like maybe we could do something like this. Um, I don't know, just a, just right. a thought. Um, and, 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 and the thing that you'll look is like almost all the fancy websites, they have these like really cool, some side of some sort of style for the sections. And I think that the opportunity to break that down a little further will make, probably make him happy if you suggest it, if, if I had to guess, um, but no guarantees. So, right. you know, it's always what the client wants. Ultimately, I would guess. I don't know. I don't do freelance work that that much. But right. um, I understand what you mean. Yeah, Absolutely, you, you want a happy customer. <laughs> um, so, anyway. yeah. But now, now that you mention it, now now I see. It. I break it down. Probably, perhaps, put some icons next to each one. You know what I mean? Yeah, something that, getting... to make it look like here's a section yeah. that I crafted some time into, or right. like you know something along those lines. I feel like it tends to look good. Uh, right. so anyways, uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's all I got, I think for right now. Um, I would say, I think you probably could find a better picture would make a big, big deal. Oh, this is cool. I didn't realize there was more to the website. Okay. So this looks good. Uh, ball and I love this. I love that. It's just basically shows it, uh, padding on the bottom of this. So if you notice like the distance between here and here and the mm-hmm. distance under that should be the same, right? Uh, that's something that would right. make it a lot nicer. Um, something yeah. looks a little strange. It looks like there's a really aggressive drop shadow. And I'm wondering if you could chill that out a little. I also feel like here might be a good place to consider, um, blurring that background just a little bit. I don't know. Uh, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think that that might make it look a lot more elegant. Here, let's play around with it for a second. Um, just for the sake of fun. 
I'm going to request control real quick and then just like just play around with it. Maybe like a little. Uh, I can't remember how to do blur, so we'll, we'll cheat. Can Can you open dev tools? It's not opening for me. For some, Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go to, I'm just going to look up blur. Is it a background image? Or yeah. A, okay. Background blur. image. <clears throat> So, okay, yeah, so it looks like what you could do is blur, filter, blur. So I should be able to do that. Okay, so you need to put a class. Okay, so that, that should be fine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select that background and just, just to experiment with the idea and see how it look. Is this the background? Okay, so we could try yeah. it. I don't know that it's gonna work because you might need some sort of like, well, let's see, filter and we'll do blur. We'll go, I'm gonna do an aggressive blur. We'll do 10 pixels. I'll do 12 just cause that's what I typed. Yeah, the problem is this blurs everything now. So what you need to do, I think it's probably gonna look good. Um, To be honest, I think it will look good. But what you're going to have to do is absolutely position an element over the background in order to get something like that working, if that makes sense. It's not okay. that hard to do. I, I know for a fact you could do it, but I do think it'll make it look a lot more elegant personally. Um, let's see, what else do we got? I think as a whole, this looks really, really good. I think it looks nice. It definitely has like um, that that kind of retro vibe going on, which I enjoy. Uh, it has a it has a full it has a full um a full page view of each build, um, when you when you click more info. Okay, so let's let's look at each build. Okay. Okay, so let's hit a YouTube channel. This is cool. Um, again, I think I think the having the sticky header will make this look a lot nicer too. Uh, but yeah, so this looks good. It's it's a good show page. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Workbench. This looks like a lot of padding here, but maybe that'll be fine once we get the header kind of stuck. It's kind of tough to say. I like this. Yeah, I, th I think that this is great. I think that this is probably perfect for what this person needs. So I think this is awesome. Um, yeah. If you wanted to do a fancy kind of thing, one thing you could do to make it to where you don't have to scroll the whole time is something like a carousel, which it kind of looks like you have here. Yeah, that's um, that's an NPM package I, I found that, that thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, so what you could do with a carousel is rather than just carousel the images, you could carousel the image, you could and carousel the, video. the videos, you could carousel all of that and then just cycle through them and then including oh. the description maybe too. I don't oh, know if you want to do descriptions idea. on different photos or something like that. I, I like that idea. You I could like do that. that. So that's, that's one option. Sweet. Yeah. Um, and then X, what's that do? You can close it. I don't see, see more builds. Oh, so when I click this, it's not a new page. Uh, yes, I haven't, I haven't yet learned, um, learned to do yet pages yet. Um, are you doing this in next or are you doing this in, um, I'm in... doing this in, in react. Um, I'm mostly looking to, so I can get an MVP out and then later on, I'm going to do a lot more. Okay. Uh, I will say more. for, for websites like this, I think, I feel like next pays off. Um, yeah. In the, yeah. Because for example, what you could do is you could have it to where, when you click on this, this is a bed with an ID of two and then what, or, or, or uh, a piece with an ID of two. So then what you could do is you could go to slash pieces and then slash two and then have that be rendered by next and then instead of clicking an x here because really this doesn't look like a modal mm -hmm. and when you have an x it kind of implies hey this thing is a popover and it's not a popover it's kind of its own page in my opinion right. so like it almost okay. would be better it's like cool get put a back button over here go back to the previous page and then what that'll do is you'll do this and then it will basically close out of this um, if that makes sense. So okay. I do think that that might be a really good idea to incorporate. 
But again, I think what you're doing is fine. I think the client's going to like this no matter what. I think it looks really good, but these are just, you asked for some roasting. So I found some roast roastable things, um, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, yeah. but I do, I do think this is good. I have a hunch. Uh, are you showing it to the client regularly and seeing what they think so far kind of thing? And they're, yeah, they're yeah. liking it. Yeah. 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 The, um, they're, um, they're, they're pretty cool about it. I think they're going to like the, the suggestions. So yeah, that's the most important thing is that the client likes it. So, um, and it seems like they like it and I have a hunch, like, like these are the things that I would do if I wanted to make it perfect. Also, you know, you don't have to do shit that you're not getting paid for. I don't, I don't know what that arrangement is, but in general, I think that having a few projects on your resume that are like, maybe you went above and beyond for is totally worth the, the, um, time you dumped in. Um, so yeah, I think this looks really good. Um, yeah, I'm a fan. It's, it's good work. Good work. Thanks. Thanks. Awesome. Um, yeah. So um, I was also going to think, you know, late, um, later on when I learned much more, I'm going to add more features to it. Um, but I'm going to do it um, for free just so I can have some things to add into the resume. I was thinking of giving him like an admin page so he can upload some more images. Uh, some, oh, yeah. Some more if you did that, that'll be something great to learn. Um, you're going to have to learn off for that, too. So he's going to go out of off in and all that stuff. But yeah, I think that's a fantastic idea. I don't. I do not see anything wrong with that. So, yeah, so. cool beans. Awesome. Sweet.